Today, a 500-page executive summary of the Senate Intelligence Committee's five-and-a-half-year review of the CIA's detention and interrogation program, which was conducted between 2002 and 2009. The report released today examines the CIA's secret overseas detention and the use of coercive interrogation techniques, in some cases amounting to torture. As Americans, we owe a profound debt of gratitude to our fellow citizens who serve to keep us safe. The solemn rows of stars on the memorial wall at the CIA honor those who have given their lives to protect ours. Our intelligence professionals are patriots, and we are safer because of their heroic service and sacrifices. There's still no accountability. And despite Director Brennan's pledges to me in January 2013, still no correction of the public record of the inaccurate information the CIA has spread for years and continues to stand behind. The CIA has lied to its overseers and the public, destroyed and tried to hold back evidence, spied on the Senate, made false charges against our staff, and lied about torture and the results of torture. And no one has been held to account. The President needs to purge his administration of high-level officials who are instrumental to the development and running of this program. He needs to force a cultural change at the CIA. The President uh, has relied for years now uh, on the advice of John Brennan. John Brennan is a decorated professional and a patriot. The interrogations of CIA detainees were absolutely brutal, far worse than the CIA represented them to policymakers and others. Detainees were subjected to the most aggressive techniques immediately, stripped naked, diapered, physically struck, and put in various painful stress positions for long periods of time. They were deprived of sleep for days, usually standing or in stress positions, at times with their hands tied together over their heads, chained to the ceiling. Vice President, thanks for being here. Good evening, Brett. First of all, your overall impression to this report, what's in it and its release? I think that what needed to be done was done. I think uh, we were perfectly justified in doing it, and I'd do it again in a minute. Mr. Cheney, we've been doing it again for a long time. You know, there was a secret operation, Condor, and there's a scene in my picture, Latino, that's, that's based on personal interviews, which only confirmed that the CIA's Latin American policy is a torture policy. <laughs> Beat the shit out of him for two hours. And all we get is something about a goddamn harvest. The code, no doubt. Otra vez. Uh, I have a friend, Saul Lando, who recently died. Uh, and we went down to Chile uh, when uh, Salvador Allende was elected. There were a group of Brazilians who were able to come to Chile uh, in exchange for a Swiss um, ambassador who had been uh, kidnapped. And so they were released by the Brazilian government uh, to Chile. I talked to Saul and I said, we've got to find those people and see if they'll talk about, about their life and what happened in Brazil. And uh, we saw them and some of them were reluctant to talk. Many of them actually showed visible signs of, um, of the tortures that they had. But they, the ones who did talk did only because they wanted, they wanted the world to know that this is not the way uh, to treat people. A la noche. Entonces fomos levados para el docks. Ya nos sacaron la ropa y hicieron una serie de tortura, espancamiento, eh, teléfono. A mí me hicieron torturas sexuales. Eh, eh, hacer 
simulaciones de actos sexuales, llamaron todos los, los funcionarios del DOP. Fui sometida a choques eléctricos y me, me dejaron en, en el piso eh, con baldes de agua consecutivos sobre el cuerpo. Yo quedé la más de dos meses, entonces yo veía todo el día de torturas. Fueron torturadas con choques en los senos, en la vagina internamente. Eh, las orejas y por todo el cuerpo, umbigo. Eh, María Auxiliadora Lara Barcelos. Mi edad, 25 años. Lugar de nacimiento. Cidade de Antônio Dias, Estado de Minas Gerais, Brasil. Brazil's military dictatorship committed crimes against humanity. So says the country's National Truth Commission, which recommends that the state's torturers lose their immunity from prosecution. The commission's report was presented to President Rousseff. It says there's proof that more than 400 people were killed or disappeared between 1964 and 85. Que esse não possam mais se proteger nas sombras. Chris, uh, what's she saying? What's... Uh, well, Haskell, what, she, what the president is saying is we who believe in the truth hope that this report serves so that the ghosts of a painful and sad past may no longer hide in the shadows of silence and omission. The president of Brazil, Dilma, she was jailed and tortured in the 1970s, and she was a comrade of Maria Sadora, the Brazilian woman I interviewed for the film Brazil, a report on torture. Merecia a verdade. Que as novas gerações mereciam a verdade. E, sobretudo, mereciam a verdade aqueles que perderam. Familiares, parentes, amigos, companheiros. E que continuam sofrendo Eles sabem disso, eles têm bastante medo que nós volvamos. Somos todos iguais, braços dados ou não Nas escolas, nas ruas, campos, construções Caminhando e cantando e seguindo a canção Vem, vamos embora, que esperar não é saber Quem sabe faz a hora, não espera acontecer Quem sabe faz a hora, não espera acontecer. Vem, vamos embora, que esperar não é saber. Quem sabe faz a hora, não espera acontecer. When our high government officials break laws and lie, uh, whether it's about torture or whether it's about weapons of mass destruction, and there's no, there's no accountability, then um, we have to be careful we'll be susceptible to more of the same.